to fight the drugs trade after reports that young people flock there to buy deadly crack cocaine. Police have confirmed that they're investigating drugs dealing at the Manor Hotel at Paulette near Bridgewater, where hundreds of young people regularly attend discos. Louise Moran reports. An article in a national newspaper today claimed their reporter had bought crack cocaine outside this nightclub in rural Somerset. It alleges a dealer approached him inside and led him to the car park, where carloads of youngsters were smoking the drug. But today the hotel management denied they had a drug problem worse than any other night spot in the area. Is it true that you have a drug problem here, do you think? No, I don't. Um, I have spoken to the police, obviously, in, in, we talk to them from time to time, and they tell me there is no... How can I say this? No more of a problem here than anywhere else in the area. I have no further comment other than that to make. But can you tell us about the measures that I, you take against drug dealing? It is here? all explained to you in the statement. In the statement the manager handed to me, it says the proprietor and licensees of the Manor Hotel are ever conscious of the evil trade of drugs and do all they can to counter it. They say they're seeking urgent talks with the police and intend to prevent the premises from becoming any part of the drug scene. Villagers in Paulette seem divided on the issue. Quite frankly, I think it would be a good idea that our place was closed down. As far as drugs are concerned, there's no more drugs there than there is anywhere else. Today in Bristol, there was a stark reminder of the problem that drugs have become in the West Country, as the funeral took place of the fourth victim of a batch of rogue heroin. 21-year-old Samantha Bultitude died after collapsing in St. Paul's when she took an extremely pure form of the drug. Police are still searching for the source. Louise Moran, HTV News.